Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about apoenzyme, alloenzyme, coenzyme, and cofactor. A general thing is that an alloenzyme is a combination of an apoenzyme with a coenzyme or a cofactor. What you need to know about apoenzyme is that an apoenzyme is the protein portion of the enzyme. It is inactive which means it cannot carry out a catalytic reaction on its own. For coenzyme or cofactor, they are the non-protein portion of the enzyme. They are considered as the enzyme activators. For alloenzyme, it is a complete enzyme. Therefore, it is active, which means it can carry out a catalytic reaction. Let's take, for example, the substrate sucrose. Sucrose is a disaccharide consisting of glucose and fructose. If this substrate tries to fit into an apoenzyme, it will not be able to fit because the induced shape at the active site cannot accommodate the substrate. However, with a combination of a coenzyme or a cofactor, the substrate can be able to fit into the induced shape of the alloenzyme. Therefore, an enzymatic reaction will take place. And you will get the products after the reaction. In this case, it will be glucose and fructose. Now, a quick Comparison between apoenzyme and alloenzyme is that an apoenzyme is a protein. Alloenzyme is also protein. The apoenzyme is catalytically inactive, while the alloenzyme is catalytically active. Now, a quick comparison between cofactor and coenzyme is that cofactor is not a protein. Coenzyme is also not a protein. In terms of their chemical nature, cofactor is inorganic in nature, while coenzyme is organic. Examples of cofactor include the magnesium ion, iron 2 plus, and even iron 3 plus, calcium iron. For coenzyme, we have NAD+, which is the charge form. The uncharged form will be NADH. We also have NAD+, and the uncharged form will be NADPH. We also have FAD as well. Now, I want to thank you for watching this lesson, and I truly appreciate you watching, and I want to remind you, whatever you add to your life must add value. Have a blessed and wonderful day. See you soon.